Hello. So in this video, I'm going to have to do something a little weird. I'm going to have to use a different system to show you how to record a video on Loom and then how to post the video in the discussion uh, area. So uh, what I'm doing here is I'm using a different system called Powtoon to record this. I hope it's working. Um, once I get into my Loom account, actually let me see if I can go to my Loom account to do that. So I'm going to go to loom.com. Now, of course, mine has like a trazillion videos. Yours is not going to look like that. But for both of them, what you need to do is click on new video and record a video. Once you do that, one thing that I wanted to show you is, first of all, see here how you have like three different sizes. It can be small. It can be medium. If you click on this one, then it makes it bigger. If you click on this little uh, hair, um, what is it? Uh, square. <laughs> That's what it is. Now, notice here on the right where it can either say full screen, window, current tab, or camera only. If later you use Loom to record your presentation in which you're actually sharing the slides or something like that, and then um, using your face on the side, then you do want to have something like full screen or window or current tab. It really basically depends on whether you want to be able to move quickly from one area to another. If you're just showing one presentation, sometimes you just do current tab or window. Those details we can go through later. For now, though, what you're doing is just using Loom to introduce yourself. And the reason I'm asking you to do this is that Loom automatically transcribes. I checked uh, other systems, for example, on um, Canvas. There's a way that you can record directly in there, which sounds nice, except that it doesn't transcribe. Transcription is very important because it helps me as I review all the all the different recordings, and especially if I want to refresh my memory on ooh, what is it that that person said, um, what is it that this person said about their hobbies or where they live or something like that, then I can very easily find that out. It's also important for accessibility um, reasons. When you post something online for your colleagues, you can't assume that none of them are going to need the captions. and. Um, Loom will create that transcript for you automatically. So that's the main reason why I'm recommending that we use it. On top of that, Loom allows you to edit the, those captions, and it can still be a private film um, tool. So you see I, I'm considering various things as I suggest a particular tool. Oh, and it's also, did I mention it's free? All right. So once uh, you're done making these decisions, then, oops, I messed up. Let me go back here, record a video, go back in. Then what you need to do is click on Start Recording. So that's what I'm going to do now. See, it's the first time you do it, it's going to ask you for permissions to use your video camera, your microphone, all that kind of stuff. And then once you're done, you just click on Finish Recording, and boom, you're done recording. Now, at that point, uh, and you can change the name here, I can say, for example, Introduction, Professor Wilbermuth. You would, like, title your Loom in any way. Now, at that point, you have two options, because what you need to do is enter your introduction in the discussion. So let me go back here to the discussion and show you where it is. Uh, as, we, as I'm recording this video, I'm still Re revamping the course and, and making it more up to date and changing some of the assignments, removing some of the things that I felt were not necessary. So I don't have the entire course ready, but I do have module one. And in module one, you're going to see here a discussion that says introduce yourself. So I'm going to click there and you see here how I already included a lot of information. Um, this video may be overkill for some of you. If it is overkill, feel free not to watch it. And then I even have a video down here. I'm re-recording it because I didn't like it. 
<laughs> All right. So now at this point, you can click on reply. Now in the instructions, I say that you have to post your introduction, and then you need to post uh, your reply to at least two of your colleagues postings, right? So the first thing is you're going to add your introduction here. So how do you do that? Okay, what I normally, um, there are two ways for you to do it. You can just say, hello, my name is, you know, enter your name here, and here is the link to my loom. Now, this is the important part, because if you don't do it the way that I'm going to show you, um, it's going to be messy for people to actually watch your loom in the discussion. They won't be able to just click on it and see it. They will have to copy and paste, which is a little messier. So what you do now is you go here to the loom that you recorded. Here is mine, Introduction Professor Wildermuth. And then you see this little guy here. There's an icon to a link. You just click on Copy Link. Once that is copy, I'm going to go back here. And once that is copied, here's what's important. You don't want to paste here directly because if you paste here directly and post it, what's going to happen is that this does not become a, it does not automatically become a link. So that's why people would have to cut and paste it. So instead of doing that, what I'm going to do is insert link, external link. See here? So once again, insert link, an external link. And all this shows up when you actually enter a comment on a discussion. Under text, you can put anything. Click here or Chris's video introduction. You can call it whatever you want under text, which is basically the title of your link. And then here you paste what you copied from the Loom account. And then you click done. Once you do that, see what happened? That actually became a link. So that is one way that you can do it. Honestly, that's the way that most of you are going to do it, and that's perfectly okay. It works fine. If I click here, I would go straight to your video. So your colleagues are going to be able to see it fine. Now, another way for you to do it, and by the way, if you want to reply to your colleague, you would click here and that would create some kind of a thread. Or if you're posting your original one, your original posting, then you would reply to mine. So reply to my original posting if you're doing your first introduction. Reply under your colleague if you're replying to a colleague's uh, comment. For some of you, this may be known already, but I can't assume anything, so I'm assuming you don't know. Now, here's another way to do the same thing. You will notice that under here, under insert, you have link, image, media, document, equation, table, and then you have this one that says embed. If you click on embed, you see that you can embed a code. All right, this is really cool, and let me show you how it works. So I'm going to go back to my introduction, and instead of copying the link, I'm going to click on Share Video. Once I click on Share Video, do you see here where it says Embed? Okay, so click there. And then down here, it says Copy Embed Code. You don't need to mess around with whether it's responsive size or fixed size. Just Copy Embed Code. You don't have to change any else uh, here. So copy embed code, yay, it's copied. Now I'm going to go back here. Let me go back to where I was. So I just, I just entered, clicked on the reply. I clicked on insert and I clicked on embed. Once I clicked on embed, I pasted that code that I just copied on Loom. When I submit, what happens is instead of posting a link, what you will be posting is an actual embedded link, which I must admit looks a little cooler. So those are your two options to reply um, to my original posting. In other words, to post your introduction using Loom. Um, after that, when you reply to a colleague, you don't have to use a video again. You can, but you don't have to. You can just write something like, 
hey, Chris, I watched your presentation. I noticed that you said that you're super interested in uh, that your hobbies are playing the ukulele. Hey, guess what? I play the ukulele as well. In other words, the kind of stuff that you would do if we were actually having a conversation and looking for commonalities between us. That's it. That's the assignment. I hope this video is helpful for you. Throughout this course, there will be moments like those in which I will give you very specific instructions in a video. If you don't feel you need the video, if you feel my video is overkill, let it go. Just try things for size and watch my video only if it's helpful to you. Okay, that's it. Take care and have a great rest of your day.